today we are going into the next part of our science lesson attraction and repulsion so in the previous class we heard about the history of the magnet and we learned about the different types of magnet that are there around us and also we learned how magnets are made so i hope it's all very clear to you now why are these magnets there what is the use of magnet do we use these magnets in our daily life you must be having a doubt isn't it is the magnet just for attracting things or separating some uh, metal substances or magnetic substances we don't know so we are going to learn about it now here on this board you can see certain things i have stuck and kept here can you identify these things yes we know is it it what is it it is speaker it is a speaker if you have seen speakers in your um, your computer speakers or loud speakers which is broken you can see inside it will be like this okay this is actually inside the speaker is like this but then it has an outer covering so we don't see this usually it is inside if you have broken a speaker then you can see these things inside now why did i keep here how is it standing here i took it out and i am keeping it here so that means it is getting stuck onto this board why because this board is made up of metal so if it the speaker has to get stuck onto the board here what will be there inside we know this board as the other side of the board we used to write with the pen isn't it so it is made up of metal so it is a magnetic substance now why is the speaker sticking there yes your guess is right what is there in the speaker there is a magnet which is attached to the speaker have you seen that magnet some of you might have seen isn't it here when i take it like this when if you turn the speaker here this round ring shaped magnet is here on the speaker i hope you can see so the magnet is attached on the speaker why does the speaker why is it that a magnet is kept in a speaker or a magnet is used in a speaker yes we know what is the uh, use of a speaker to hear sound isn't it to hear sound loudly we use a speaker so magnet helps in producing more sound okay when you learn in the higher classes you will learn more about it magnet is used in loudspeakers it is used in mobile phones it is used in tape recorders because it helps to produce sound or increase the sound of uh, certain equipments so magnets are used in different types of devices that we use every day now what type of magnet can you see here what type of magnet can you see here yesterday we saw that in the speaker we use a ring magnet i have shown you a ring magnet yesterday isn't it this is a ring magnet so i have shown you this magnet this is the same magnet which is used on this speaker so in a speaker a ring magnet is used the earphone also has got magnet so you can see the earphone magnet here that magnet when i removed it was this magnet so this is a disc magnet which is inside the earphone okay so here we can see that ring magnet is used inside the speaker or a disc magnet is used inside the speaker now shall i ask you something why is it in this the size of the magnet is so big and in a earphone the size of the magnet is so small can you imagine this activity you have to find out and write in the textbook there is a table which is given for you you have to find out and write this activity why is it in a 
loud speaker that is if you know when you go for a um, big party or a wedding or if you go for in school when the annual day is taking place we can see big big speakers will the size of the speaker be so so much no isn't it the size of the speaker inside that loud speaker will be very very big so why is it that in that type of loud speakers there are big magnets and in headphones there are small magnet so just think about it and find out and write your guess and send it to me okay now we saw that in a speaker there is a ring magnet now this thing will be very familiar for you isn't it this thing is very familiar for you you have already got this in your kit now yesterday i showed you a magnet isn't it what was that magnet i showed you an arc magnet this arc magnet i showed you yesterday do you know from where i removed this i removed this from this mini motor so is the shape of the magnet in a speaker and in the mini motor the same no we can see isn't it in that it is a ring magnet and in this it is an arc magnet now i will show you something i am just keeping this inside see it went inside isn't it so now did you understand why an arc magnet is used inside a mini moto yes it is because of the shape of the device so the shape of this is round so you you have to use a, a ring magnet or a disc magnet here that is only in a earphone there is a disc magnet sometimes in a earphone you will get ring magnet and in a mini moto it is an arc magnet it is because of the shape of the device so the shape of the magnet differs according to the shape of the device in which it is used i hope it is very clear so you have to find out and tell me why the size of the magnet changes according to the size of the object or the size of the speaker that you have to tell me now we are going to do another experiment this experiment you are supposed to do for that we need certain things so for that first we need a magnet a bar magnet we need a plastic cover a rubber band a thread and also a little bit of iron powder this is iron powder i will tell you later from where you can get this iron powder so these are the things which are which we need so before we start the experiment i want to explain something on the bar magnet which you have in your hand you would have seen n and s marked there so just imagine what is n and s okay guess it in your mind now i am going to put this magnet into this plastic cover okay now i am going to roll it nicely cover it nicely this also you will understand why i am doing this later those who have watched victor's channel you would know what it is so i have covered it and then it is easy it will stay stiff if you put a rubber band and also uh, to tie the thread also if you have a rub if you put a rubber band inside it is easy okay so you can just insert it through the rubber band and tie it now you have a thread also so now you understood what i am going to do isn't it yes so i have covered the magnet like this and stuck a uh, put a thread here now i am taking this iron powder you can see here and i am bringing the magnet close to this iron powder and i am making the iron powder to stick onto the magnet nicely okay so the iron powder has stuck onto the magnet you can see here isn't it now if you observe carefully where all which all parts of the magnet has the iron powder attracted more where all it has attracted more on the two sides you can see isn't it 
and in the center even after rolling it in the center only little bit is getting caught but on the two sides you see you can see the iron powder is attracted nicely so what did you understand from this experiment what did we understand yes we understood that the magnetic power is more on the sides of the magnets on the two sides of the magnets isn't it the magnetic power is more on the two sides of the magnet so the ma magnetic power is more on the sides so these two sides of the magnet are called as the poles of the magnet p o l e pole you have heard this word pole earlier isn't it where have you heard yes when you are learning social studies you have heard the word pole which are the two poles which you have learned north pole and south pole what is north pole and south pole the earth has got two points on the top and down those are called as the poles of the earth isn't it so in the same way the magnet has also got two poles and this magnet is connected to the earth because the earth is also a magnet a big magnet it has got magnetic power that is why that magnetic power of the earth is called as the gravitational force we know isn't it so that is why we are all there standing on the earth without being flown away into the air so earth is a big magnet it has got magnetic power and as in the same way these two poles of the magnet are connected to the poles of the earth okay just connected that we will learn later when we are going into the lesson so here we saw the two sides of the magnet have got more magnetic power so these two sides are the poles of the magnet so what is n and s did you understand n is the north pole of the magnet and s is the south pole of the magnet okay so this much i hope you understood this experiment you have to do it from home write it in a bond paper and send it to me take the photo of you doing the experiment now you have a doubt from where will i get this iron powder isn't it it is very easy if you have any industry or um, welding shop anything nearby your house if you go to them they will have enough and more iron powder they are down on the floor you can collect it and using a magnet you can separate it from from the mud or uh, powder or sand whatever it is okay now if you don't have anything like that one thing what you can do is take a magnet like this cover it with a paper or cover it with a plastic cover go into your compound just keep the magnet on the uh, mud or the soil in your compound and you will get a little bit of uh, iron powder because in the soil there is always iron content okay so if you go into your compound with the magnet you will get iron powder so you have to do this experiment and write it down and file it and take the photo and send it to me so i hope you understood this lesson we saw the uses of the magnet it is used in microphone it is used in mini motor and many other devices and the shape of the magnet differs according to the device in which it is used and also we saw the magnet has got two poles and the magnetic power is more on the poles of the magnet so please do the activities which i have told you thank you children